Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Plex Tutorials. Today we're going to be taking a look at what do you do if you, on your Plex media server, if Plex incorrectly matches content. Um, sometimes Plex can do this. It's really good at finding what it's supposed to find, but sometimes it can mess up and incorrectly link a show or a movie. Usually it's something brand new. What I'm looking at right here on my screen is, these are my antenna DVR recordings that my HD Home Run, which works with Plex. They actually record over the air TV recordings. And as you can see here, this one called New Amsterdam. This is not correct. Now I changed this manually just for the purposes of this video. But in this instance here, this is actually a show called Roswell, New Mexico. And let's just pretend that Plex incorrectly linked this. We click in here, we can see, and I'm actually selecting it by accident, but it's all wrong. Even has the wrong theme music. Let's click back out of that. What we're gonna do is, let's have Plex auto search again and see if it's found it now. Maybe it's been a few days and it's been updated in the databases. And when this show, I think it was Legacies over here, when it first aired, Plex couldn't find anything for it. But in this instance, let's click on the three little dots down here and go down through the menu to fix match. And it's going to auto search and you can see the first option is Roswell, New Mexico. So if I click on this, it's going to update everything. Now, if it doesn't find anything in this list, you can go to search options and you can in this drop down box, select other databases to have it search. By default, it's going to search the TV database, the TV DB. Now, this is movies. Um, instead of a TV show folder on Plex, it has like five or six different, you know, movie categories, uh, databases, I should say, that it's going to search through, and you can select those as well. But in this instance, we're talking TV shows, and the TV DB usually does a pretty good job. So I'm going to click back here. I'm just going to click on the, the auto uh, search result one here of Roswell, New Mexico, and it's just going to spin there as it goes out and gets all that out. Uh, the artwork and the descriptions and the actors and actresses and it will update that and then now we have a correct match now we'll wait for it to update and it did and now we have everything if i click that now everything looks correct now, it doesn't have theme music i don't believe for this show but quite often it does and it will play that so everything looks just fine let's say the show is brand new and there's just nothing in the databases which does happen if you want to link it to something, which I'm sure you do, you don't want just a generic plank thumbnail, click on a little pencil in the bottom left for edit, and you can go to say poster. And of course it's found results here when it went out and did that a moment ago. But if you need to manually link it, you can click on choose an image at the top, or you can enter a URL. I would be much safer to do an image because the URL changes or gets deleted, it's going to not find it. Um, I think it'll probably delete, you know, it's going to link to an HTTP and you don't want to do that. So click on choose an image and then your file explorer comes up. You can go to the folder where you have it saved and you can manually link that. I like to put any artwork I get into the folder with that media. And then of course, later on, I'll go out and check and have it to see if it found anything new for it. So that's how you manually link. And of course you can just change it to whatever you want. So let's say I like, you know, this black background i click on that click save changes and boom there's the thumbnail change so if you do decide to manually link it though under your posters and then you a few weeks later you know you want to see if you can get some better or, or official one just go in there and uh do that auto search under the fix match back here and see if it actually does find your show and then it'll get all the good information for it theme music if it, if it exists and that's going to be much better than manually doing it yourself but the manual is at least a quick fix for a show that's just simply not in the data base yet so that's pretty neat and one other thing you can do is you, when you click that edit button there you can also change the banners which that shows up like in the background the players and the, uh, when you click in through it in the shows it'll show up in the background as a banner as you can see in these uh, three that shows up for Roswell, New Mexico, uh, the first one is the only ones that are good resolution. These other ones that is found online are really jacked up and low resolution and blurry. So in this case, I'm going to stick with this first one. But um, many times it will find other ones that are nice and clear, and you can switch those around if you wish. 
Alright guys, well that wraps up this little tutorial on fixing mismatch media on your Plex server and how to resolve that if you run into that situation. Alright, well guys, I appreciate you checking into this video and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you find these videos helpful and uh, click the bell so you know when I upload new videos. And as always guys, have a wonderful day.